What's that? Oh, you you want to build a React Native app? Oh, I like Tailwind too. Oh, no no problem, no problem. We can do that. Yeah, I use a tool called Native Wind. You want to know more about it? I'll just put you on speaker. Native Wind uses Tailwind CSS as a scripting language to create a universal style system for React Native. Native Wind components can be shared between platforms and will output their styles as CSS style sheets on the web and stylesheet.create for React Native. The goals of Native Wind are to provide a consistent styling experience across all platforms. This will improve the developer user experience and helps with code maintainability. Native Wind achieves this by pre-compiling your styles and uses a minimal runtime to selectively apply responsive styles. No problem, I'll tell you all about the features right now. I'm so happy you're excited about Native Wind. Yeah, 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 it's gonna be an amazing project. I can't wait to work with you. Okay, let's talk about the features right now. I'll put you back on speaker. Some of the key features found in Native Wind include it's universal, which means that it uses the best style system for each platform. So whether it's the web, Android, or iOS, It'll look great on everything. Another feature is that it's pre-compiled. It uses Tailwind CSS compile engine, which styles are generated at build time. Native Wind provides a very small runtime, which keeps everything blazingly fast. The developer user experience provides plugins for simple setup and improves the intelligence within your editor. There are tons of features like dark mode, arbitrary classes, media queries, custom themes, custom values, and custom plugins. There are pseudo classes like hover, focus, active on compatible components. There are parent state styles, which automatically style children based upon parent pseudo classes. Yeah, yeah, now that you've heard all the features, we should talk about budget. Are, do you have a budget in mind? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, ooh, yeah, uh, I, I mean, <clears throat> <clears throat> that's that's what we typically charge. Yes, $10 trillion for this Hello World app is not a big deal for us. We can handle anything. Okay, yeah, you want to see it in action? You want to... I'll build you a demo real quick, okay? We'll do that. We'll use TypeScript. Yes, native, of course, native win, React Native TypeScript. You got it. All right, give me like 20 minutes and I'll wrap it up for you. I'll send a GitHub repository over to you. Great. All right, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay, well, he wants to pay us like $10 trillion for this app, so I'm going to assemble my team, which will just consist of me and let's just dive into it. I'll give you some examples and we can share this and become 10 trillionaires. Is that a word? Together. So here we are, we're at nativewind.dev and I have my VS Code editor open and I have already gone ahead and created the app.d.ts file. So why don't you go ahead and do the same thing within your root directory? Uh, and then the only thing left to do on this particular page is just copy that reference and paste it into that new file we've just created. Once you're completed with that, you can just close this file. The next step is now you're going to CD into your directory. I called my native wind. You may have chose something else. Go inside of that directory. Now you will need to install native wind and its peer dependency tailwind CSS. So to do that, just run yarn add native wind inside of your root directory like so hit enter. The next step to setting up Tailwind CSS is to modify the tailwind.config.js file and remove the content array and add a new path. For my example, I'm just going to use the dot forward slash app dot js, jsx, ts, and tsx path, and I'm going to omit the custom folder. Now, if you were to use custom folders, you could have a different directory here, say source, and then all of this would be inside of source. And then you can also add a, a, a specific directory for your styles and kind of point it that way. We'll get into that much, much later, but not in this video. So once you're done with that, we can move on to the next step. Native Wind uses the Babel plugin, so we'll have to modify our babel.config.js file, and we'll have to include the new plugin for native wind forward slash Babel. So we can just copy that from over here and paste it into our editor like I just did. Now we're ready to build. So we can start writing code here. Native wind has provided a very nice example to just get you started so you can start to see the Tailwind styles straight away. So let's just go ahead and just copy this as well. So you, as you can see, it says remove the style sheet. So we'll do that first. So we'll just grab that. We'll kill this line. I can hit Command K and it just omits it. The next thing we'll do is remove colors. So we'll hit Command K again, remove colors. We're removing dark mode. So it says remove the container, section container, and replace it with view class, a Tailwind class, right? So let's do that. All right. Now it says to replace the uh, text styles. So anything with styles, we're gonna remove and we're gonna add something different here like that. 
Okay. And moving right along, it says replace the description with this one. Okay. And we'll continue on. It says now remove the background style and use these tailwind classes. Uh, here we go. And the safe area is going to have a new class name. And we go here. Background style. I see that here. We need to add this. Safe area. Uh, status bar. Looks like the status bar is a problem here. Let's go ahead and change that. I noticed they didn't put that in the documentation. Okay, here we go. Remove this one. We have the text here. Change this. And we have the styles. So we just remove all the styles. That's incredible, right? That always feels good, cleaning up code. So we've reduced code. We've added more functionality. So that's really it. That's done. Now, let's go to the next step. The next step, we're going to actually run on a local device. So we're going to run on the iOS or Android device. In my case, I'm on a Mac. I'm going to use iOS device. And to do that, to start a React Native CLI project, all you have to do is run yarn start. And I'd like to use two terminals for this one. So I ran yarn start here, and I'll open up another tab. So I'll run yarn iOS, and it will load up the iOS simulator. You may get a message that says unable to boot device in current state, booted. That's all right. Just let it happen. This one's going to boot up on the iPhone SE third generation iOS 16.2. Uh, it's going to go ahead and build the app on our um, simulator. And once that's done, we can manipulate some of the styles using Tailwind CSS. OK, it successfully built the app. And here comes the compiled version of it. And there we go. So the app didn't break as long as your app did not break. During this process, the process of setting it up, then you should be good to go. Now back to our editor. I'll put this over on the left here so we can actually see it. And I'll open my editor up. And so let's change the background color here on line 37. Let's just change that to red and hit save. And there you go. You can start to see it change. Let me make this darker. So I'll say red 900. And there you go. You're seeing the colors change. You're seeing the background color change. So if I pull this down, you see the color red. So Tailwind is actually working for us. <laughs> the rest is up to you, my friends. All you have to do is now build your app. You can build it with Tailwind CSS, Native Wind, React Native CLI, using TypeScript, and this should be a breeze for you. Oh yeah, and before I forget, remember the client wanted a Hello World app and he was willing to pay $10 trillion for it? So let's finish the scope up here. There you go. I think he's going to be really happy with that. I'm going to ship it. And there you go. It's super simple to use React Native, Tailwind CSS, TypeScript, and more with this project of Native Wind. So if you are in the mood for creating a $10 trillion app, such as we just did, then go ahead and use Native Wind in your next React Native project. Till then, everyone. I've been Eric, you've been awesome, I'll see you in the next one.